What's up, GAT Gunner here, and I am here with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, we're not quite at the Rito Village, but we are very close. Where we last left off, we stopped by the Lucky Clover Gazette, became a journalist, and started that little uh, side quest. I stopped in front of the shrine that's close by to the uh, Lucky Clover Gazette. I haven't done that shrine yet, but I will be doing that. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing okay. It's been a little bit since I recorded some Zelda. So, yeah, here I am. Oh, yeah, I don't think I showed you guys burning down this bramble so I can get here. Did I? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. See all this bramble over here? You could just uh, throw some fire fruit, set it on fire. And that's how you get over here to the shrine. So, I don't know. I just wasted a fire fruit. I think this all responds when I uh, go inside. Anyway, whatever. Let's go inside. It's fine. Let's go grab this light. I still haven't spent any of my lights that I've gotten, because there's going to be a goddess statue in the Rito village, and I, uh, I'll go get my light there. Anyway, I'll have six lights after this. A launching device. I hope I remembered how to do this. Ooh, looks like the Sega Genesis, whatchamacallit, for the Nintendo Switch Online is, uh, Ready to go. I should play some games from the Sega Genesis. That, that is one thing I have not done. Anyway, how do we do this? We have to align this little rocket. Yep. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Okay. There we go. Could have just used my Ultra Hand to rotate it, I just realized, but ah, fuck it. Who cares now? Actually, I do care. Wait, how do I use my Ultra Hand again? Okay, there we go. Forget which shoulder button did it. It was L. It says it right there. Anyway. Okay, let's, uh... Do that. Launch my rocket! There we go. Okay. That was the easy part. Now we get to the hard one. Uh, let's see. Well, we obviously need a rocket to, uh... Move that cart, so... Let's grab this rocket. I guess we, uh... Hmm. Just attach to the end, I guess. There we go. Alrighty. And away I go. Whee! Stuck. It's alright. Nice. Now I need to get over there. But how, I wonder. I wonder. How did I do this last time? I don't remember how I did it last time. I guess maybe we just reuse one of these carts. And um, we're just gonna attach the rocket right- Whoop. That's a little crooked, that's not gonna work. Okay, stick it in, right? Okay. Let's put this all on a flat surface. Clearly not getting the angle right. Anyway, right there. There we go. Cool. Now... I think this might work. We'll see. Come on. There we go. Ah! This did work. There's a treasure somewhere, isn't there? Oh yeah, the treasure's all the way up there. You know what? Not to see the treasure. It's probably just a weapon or an item. You could get plenty of those. I don't want to waste too much time. I already waste a lot of time when I make these videos, I know, but it's like, you know what? There's a bunch of cool stuff in this game, and it requires some exploring. Sometimes you just have to, you know, go off the beaten path. And, uh, yeah. You gotta look for stuff, and you never know what you find, because sometimes it's really cool. At least my opinion it is. Alright, back out. There's the Skyview Tower. I think that's the one we need to, uh, get to, so we can, uh, fill out this part of the map, I think. Let's get to the village first, before we just, uh, you know, worry about the tower. Might be easier to get up, to get over there from the village. Anyway, here's this guy, he's talking about the bridge being busted. Uh -huh. Was a woman, excuse me. Let me guess, you have business in Rito Village as well? 
Well, sorry to disappoint you. The bridge is down. There's no way across. Since the newspaper ran an article about the Rito food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great. But with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to the Rito. I'm at my wit's end here. Brr, it's cold. Especially now that the sun's gone down. I might have to throw another Hylian pine cone on the fire. Those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with one of those, it caused a gust of wind that made my bangs all frizzy. Recently, that guy Gally tossed one onto the fire next to some newspapers. Papers, they got caught up in a gust of wind and flew all the way to Rito Village. That's no way to treat the written word. So she's given us a clue on how to get over there. What we want to do is we want to find one of these fancy Hylian pine cones. And we can get them from these trees. We could chop some down. Uh, let me see. I have an axe. I sure do. Okay. Oop. Not me to climb the tree. But we can grab pine cones. Let's go ahead and get some wood. Probably gonna need some. Anyway, got an acorn. Alright. Korok frond. Oh, my axe is getting damaged. There we go. Alright, it broke. That's fine. Still have the two handed axe. Alright, that's enough of that. So, way to get across. Let's go to this campfire right here. You could use any campfire, but since we already have one over here, we'll just use this one. Hold R, press up on the D-pad, let's try to find that Hylian pine cone. There we go. Then we throw it on the fire. Then jump, use a paraglider, take us into the air. Then we can get across like this, that's how you get across. Pretty neat. Anyway, here we are, Rito Village. Finally, we did it, guys. It didn't do much meandering around, and... Finally, I'm here. I know, it took me a long time. I keep saying I'll go over here, but then I don't, but... Again, I mean, I had justifiable reasons, in my opinion. There's a treasure chest here. Let's pull it out. Open it up. Get the five arrows, alright. We could really use arrows. Kind of missed the elemental arrows in the previous game, but... I guess with the fusion mechanic, it's like... Unnecessary to have like different ammunition. So we're just gonna walk on over here, grab some pine cones real fast. We might be needing those in the future. Go ahead and cut down this tree, why the hell not, right? Grab some wood. Grab a pine cone. Jeez, this place is a lot snowier than in the last game. What the heck's going on? That's what we aim to find out. As you can see, Rito Village is under a heavy snowstorm. And, uh, they're all starving and stuff. Guess you can figure that out from, uh, people trying to get supplies to them. Here's the goddess statue, so, uh, we'll grab a heart container. I think we really need one more. Alright. So, grab a heart container. Hell yeah. We still have two extra lights. There's a shrine in this village, so we can get one more. We're gonna have to do that. Doing the shrines, of course, is... Necessary, not only does it get us lights, but by activating them, we have a fast travel point, which really helps us out, so... Yeah, we need to look for that. The shrines are not in the same locations as they were in Breath of the Wild, so... You do have to kind of look for them anyway. We have an inn here, we don't need to go to the inn. Ah, there's the shrine, it's right over there. I recognize that swirling green. There's a store with, uh, mineral items. I'm trying to find the other store. Yeah, here we go. The, uh, armor shop. So, you have the snow quill gear, which is really handy to have for this part of the game. So, let's see if I could sell some stuff. Um, let's sell. Okay. Sell some opals. Alright. Sell some luminous stones. Let's go ahead and sell some ambers. Uh, a bit reluctant to do so because, well, I'm gonna need the ambers for later, but it'll be fine for now, I guess. I don't think I have enough for even the inexpensive stuff, do I? She's talking about you can sell her ores. All right, I just need 200 more and I could at least get this tunic. Uh, we're gonna need it for later because um, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, the, uh, the warm pants that I have on right now, it's good for this area, for this part of the game. But we will eventually come across colder 
temperatures in which this pants that I'm wearing right now, it's not going to cut it. So we need the uh, snow quill, any of the snow quill gear, that'll really help us out. So yeah, we'd need at least one of those um, for this part going forward. So I might have to um, really stop and try to get more rupees. Because if I want to do this temple coming up, I'm going to need it. It's pretty much mandatory. Not unless I want to keep making um, warm foods to uh, help me out. But, you know, it, that kind of thing is pretty much like a temporary fix. It's not really um, not really something you want to rely on too much. Because, well, you know, you are sort of uh, limited by time before the food expires. And you're affected by temperature again. Anyway, so we're over here. There's nothing over there, was there? Nothing but lasers, all right. And I think we just gotta go down. Oop, yeah, careful. Try to get down here. All right, there's something down here. This is like a treasure. We uh, sort of ignore that ice. We have to land on the ice to keep going, but hold on, I'm trying to find it. Maybe it's not here. Maybe I do have to land on the ice right now. Okay, fuck it. There we go. Fans. Let's robot. There we go. There we go. We can rest here. Get some stamina. All right. I think I see the treasure. Oop. Come on. All right. Glide me up. There we go. Oh. The materials fell off. Oh, and there's the robot. It sees me. It's all right. Grab the materials. And grab the treasure. What's in here? What's in this bad boy? Strong construct bow. Okay, we can get rid of one of these. Can get rid of this one. Oop, wrong button. There we go. Okay. Nice. Anyhow, let's keep going. Let's uh, get to go down here. On this hole. There we go. Now we can go on up. Is there uh, anything down here for us? Nope. Nothing but what well, we need to go over here. All right. Cool. Pretty simple. Pretty easy to get. All right. We'll just grab this light right here. All right. And we will move on. Okay. That's one shrine down. Okay. So now what we have to do here, oops, did not mean to activate the uh, Ultra Hand. But now what we have to do is we have to find the Rito Elder and uh, talk to him about what's going on. You're going to recognize the Rito Elder. He's a, he's a fun character from the previous game. I have to go find him, though. I think he's near the top. So, ooh, wait a minute. Let's go cook some food first. All right. Uh, let's see that yeah we'll get some peppers yeah we'll do that spicy pepper steak um that spicy steamed mushrooms Here we go spicy steamed fruit nice i think we'll be fine for now all right let's keep going up let's find the rito uh Rito Elder, he should be hanging up, hanging out somewhere up here. Just have to make the long run over here. Where'd everybody go? Ah, there they are. You know I can do it. What's he talking about? That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Who's that? Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. And there's. I can even do it alone. There he is. There's Taba from the previous game. He was the guy that helped you with the. Uh, the village the Rito village in the previous game uh -huh. um Heba. Huh? is that you it is me it is you it is me Link! He recognizes me Tulin yeah so um Tulin is Taba's son he was in the previous game but he was like a very minor character so if you don't remember him he was literally just an NPC walking around the village in Breath of the Wild, but he plays a bigger role in this game. 
So there's Taba. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. A new Rito elder. Ooh, boy. My boy got promoted. It's very nice to see you again. Hmm. You remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Also, he's no longer just a random NPC. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you could take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. What? You think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's t scouting trip. You all can keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind Ark like it's real, but not me. There he goes. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. I mentioned a song. Uh. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults so parrot it as if it was true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Even if the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look at into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? I came to help. What? This is terrible news. So then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm. We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Hmm. Wish there was something I could do. Hmm. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might already have a lead on Princess Zelda. See those two bonfires out that way? I do. I see him burning bright into the night. He's in the lodge in near there, if you'd like to try visiting him. So, that's where we need to go. Alright, so... Here's our first major story quest, Tulin of Rito Village. Let's save manually, because you can never save enough. And, uh, ooh. So, Skyview Tower's over there. We're gonna need to really go over there. So, uh, yeah. We will make our way over. We have Tulin's and Taba's profiles, so... Hell yeah, we can read those if you want, but... All you need to know is, Taba was your ally in the previous game who helped you with, uh, Varuda. And Tulin is his son, and Tulin's gonna play a role later, you'll find out. You could probably tell already, since he had like subtitles when he was introduced. So we're just gonna make our way over there now and try to go talk to Hearth. Oh, there's Wizrobe, and he's got like an ice weapon. So get over here, I'm gonna kill you. I know you see me. Okay. Let's take it forever. Fire fruit on. There we go. Kill him instantly. Sapphire sword. Alright. So that has a sapphire on it. Which means it shoots ice. Don't know how it's going to help us in this icy climate, but we can get rid of the uh, sapphire. Kind of don't want to because it's, well, a precious gem that we might want to use for later. Here's our old friend Addison. Uh, yeah, we're gonna help him. Of course we're gonna help him. I always stop to help this guy, and you guys know why, because uh, he gives me cool stuff. Anyway, I think this is good. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, you know what? We really need to make this kind of an L. There we go. Because, uh, this thing's gonna fall forward, and we don't want it falling forward too much. Alright. Try letting go. Alright, give me my stuff. Alright. There we go, there we go. Alright. Yeah, yeah, give me my stuff. Give me my rupees, give me my food, give me the extra goodies you've got. Alright. You have 
uh, ice weather attack from those uh, rice balls, so that's going to be really good for here and other cold areas. All right. We have a Rito guard over here. That works as a landmark. Hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy Skyview Tower. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for its size and sheer brightness. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Yeah, we're pretty badass. And the... Uh, uh. Her. We found those strange things at the foot of Haber Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? Yeah, she talked about the captain's horns over there. Mm. Then every test I could think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even for what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit by one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. So if you want them for some reason, they're all yours. All right, so take the horns. Can I take all this stuff? Oh, yeah. All right. She just let me take everything. Hell yeah. All right. Let's take a picture of these mushrooms. The chill shroom. Probably should have taken a picture of all the other materials, but I forgot. Anyway, just going to grab that chill shroom. It's a pretty chill shroom. I do believe hearth is in this. Yeah, in this hut. Okay. There we go. Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard you had gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you, I haven't heard anything about her. Uh. Our feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Mm. And all that has been hampered everywhere by the sky monster that seems to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud, I wish I could do more for oh. you. But now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> oh, right, you weren't around for it, but Little Tulin has developed a way to with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even the stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is cut above. Hmm. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him, at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gassani. Gassane? Gassani? I don't know. Gassane and Lysa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to the Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast of you. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the north of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Alright. So, let's go find Tulin. He's off scavenging for food. Speaking of, let's uh make some more pepper food. Alright, cool. But plenty of peppers. Right, I'm trying to look at the time. We're so good. Um, let me see. I wonder if I could have enough time to just stop by the uh, Skyview Tower before the episode ends. I don't know. I'll be cutting it close. I think I could try it. I have to do some climbing though. Do I have stamina food? I do. Okay, so sort sort all that. Probably be doing some climbing. We could climb on these surfaces. So we're just gonna go walk a little bit. Helps to sort of cheese it a little by just kind of walking on non, not so steep surfaces, I should say. So we could just sort of climb up here, and if I need to, I got stamina food, so I could to get up there real fast. Probably end the episode. I won't. Well, I'll activate the tower. I just won't, you know, go into the sky just yet. I'll probably call the episode there. All right. So here we are. There's the tower, and it's see all these thorny bramble over here. We need to. Burn all of it. There's also a well, I see. No, that's not a well. That's a light, excuse me. I thought it was a well. Sometimes you can find wells. It's like, well, 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 what's in the bottom of the well? Find cool stuff. Anyway. Burn all this shit. It's all in my way. And... Oh, crap! <laughs> I burned it at my feet. Okay, I think it's all burning. Wait a minute. There we go. Want it all gone! I could just go into the sky, can I? Yeah, just fly over there, like that. Open that. Activate that. Alright, skip that. Alright. So yeah, I think I'll just call the episode here. I'm 
basically at time now, so save because you can never save enough. And next time we will go into the sky, check out the map, fill it out, and then we'll go find Tulin. But until then, if you do me a solid, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, share the video around. Really would help me out a lot, and I do appreciate your support. But that said, I'm JT Gunner, and this is Tears of the Kingdom, and I will see you next time. So I'll see you later.